What is up YouTube? This is He Got Kicks. I hope you all have a great day today. Uh, of course, today I have a review for you guys, but before I get into this video, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell that you get the notifications, hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things. We are on the race to 20K. And right now the goal is 30K by the end of 2020, but let's try and hit this 20K. Um, today, I have a review off of probably the most hype sneaker from All-Star Weekend. And thanks to my good friend, Jumperman Chris. No, don't, don't even say my name. Well, I already did, so <laughs> deal with it. But hey, appreciate you, bro. Congrats on 75k. Yay! He, he's on the road to 100k. Uh, we're gonna get him there this year. But this sneaker, honestly, is one that I actually really wanted. And of course, there are all like little Timmies and everything just bought them to sell. And but who knows? Might be a cop coming up here soon. But here it is, as you can see. There's already been plenty of reviews and everything, but you guys have not gotten my opinion on these yet. As you can see, all the holes and everything in the box looking like Swiss cheese. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Hey, the, why is he put the holes in it for? I don't know, that's what Virgil does. He, he just he, started though. I don't know. But, as you can see, it comes with its own like little off-white paper. It doesn't come with a regular Jordan paper, anything like that. And here these beauties are. Honestly, this is a sneaker that I really do like. I don't think from just looking at it, it's worth the thousand dollar price tag that it's going look for. Look at it again. Just, just, you just look at it. Just look at it again. I mean, I don't. No, just look, time out. Cut. Like, I didn't think it was worth a thousand either until I like I saw in hand, I touched it and I felt it and you're just in the craftsmanship and just the design. I mean, the craftsmanship of this sneaker is absolutely dope. I'm not going to, like, front. Virgil kills everything. But just looking at this sneaker, like, to me, I just don't know how well that this material is going to really hold up to me. And to spend $1,000 on something that... Because, as you can see, like, you can see through. That's how thin this material is. You can see through it. You see all the holes. You see, of course, the 3M tongue and the hole in the tongue as well um but yeah honestly like i mean it is a very dope sneaker now if i have the chance to cop for a reasonable price will i 100 percent not gonna lie but as you can see right here on the zip tie it says off-white nike co 2020 zip tie um here's the lace lock it's kind of like a Kind of like a creamish lace lock with a red around it. Um, on the inside, you have a Nike Air. Mm, black laces. Here's a hole that you can see, which I, I think this is kind of a cool part. It's like a little translucent hole here where you can actually see your socks and everything. It's also on the other side as well, where you have all the off-white branding. You see off-white, Beaverton, Oregon, everything right there. You can also see through that one as well. On the bottoms, I like I like how they did right here. It kind of like yellowed it and aged it a little bit. Um, I do like this little touch that they did, because um, honestly, it's not gonna like age that bad, I guess. Uh, since it's already yellowed um, It comes with red Shoelaces and white shoelaces and as you see shoelaces are written on all of it. The red ones written in white white ones written in black and Let's see There's this one at Right here, of course on the black laces. It is written in white shoelaces honestly to me this is a very dope sneaker. On the back, you have Nike Air as well. You have the 23 on the side, which they've kind of stopped doing that a lot lately, putting that 23 on the side. I think the last sneaker that really had that was the uh, Metallic 5 from 2011. I think that was the last one. On the inside of the tongue, of course, you have the Air Jordan right there. Don't want to mess up these sneakers too much because these are not mine and I don't want to pay for them. So, and although Chris might give me a discount on them if I do. That's nice. 
but yeah these right here honestly it it's worth all the hype i just don't know if it's worth that thousand dollar price tag to me but again one thing i've learned throughout my life is something is worth what somebody's willing to pay for it so if you really like that sneaker and like this one you're gonna pay for it to get it sometimes you gotta pay to play uh these again it's just look at that material right here on the toe box i, I just don't know how well that stuff's gonna hold up but again don't want to make this a super super long review of everything for you guys uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think let me know if you guys cop these let me know if you didn't and you're going to cop or have cop for resale either on StockX or goat or from somebody that actually was lucky enough to hit uh, but yeah this might be a cop coming up in the future who knows we'll see but yeah you know it's tax time baby <laughs> but hey love you guys again if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button ring that bell um, again by the end of the year let's try to hit that 30k but let's go ahead let's race to 20k let's get there i want to try and get it before my birthday i think that'd be a bir good birthday gift from you guys so let's get there i love you all again i will see you guys next time mamba forever peace